Hi, this is Blake Erickson, and in today's video, I wanted to show you how you can create a web app in one resource group and then move it to another resource group. So let's get started. Let's start by creating two new resource groups that we can use today. So here I'm logged into the Azure portal. I'm in the resource group section. Let's add a couple resource groups. Give it a name of today's date. Uh, we'll call this group A. Start with a P. And hit create. While that's going, we'll create another one. Group B. All right, so if we go to our resource groups, we have group A and group B. Now let's create a new web app and put one in group A. Okay, so make sure we select the right resource group, which will be group A. And that's a good app service plan for this, and hit create. Okay, so while that's creating, while we create the web app and things inside of Azure Portal, you actually can't move it to another resource group inside the portal. Um, you need to use Azure PowerShell. More specifically, you need to use the Azure Azure Resource Manager inside of PowerShell. So let's do that now. So I have PowerShell opened up here. So first thing we need to do is we need to log in to the Azure Resource Manager. So log in. You used to have to switch into the resource manager, but now if you you need to be using uh, PowerShell, uh, at least 1.0, and you now everything is preferenced with this resource manager RM command instead of having to switch into the mode. So let's log in. It's going to ask me for my credentials. Okay, now I'm logged in. We need to make sure it's using the right subscription. So I actually need to change mine. Okay, now I'm using the right subscription. Now we can get a list of all of the resource, resource groups that we have. There we see our two new resource groups, group A and group B. But what we need to do in order to move it, we need to capture the resource ID of our actual web app, not of the resource group. So let's see if we can find um, so what we can do is we can do get Azure RM resource to get a list of all the resources, which is quite a bit. So we need to narrow it down a bit. So we can do a 
Normally, you should be able to do this command. But it's going to air out on us because there's a bug. It's reported on GitHub. But there's a bug because you actually have to specify um, the resource name along with it. Which is kind of annoying. Let's see here. Resource name. There we have it. So now we have um, our web app resource here. Notice there's insights as well, as long with our actual web app. You can see the type. It should be a type right here. Yep. Microsoft website. So let's copy that and we'll use that. We need to get only the resource idea for the web app. You actually can't apparently move insights to another resource group. So we can just move our site and then we can um, recreate um, insights in, inside of the new resource group. So let's go ahead and select just that group now. So now we can do dash resource type. All right, so now that is just our web app. Now what we can do is let's just assign that to a variable. Do the same command again. Assign it to a variable. That way it's easier to, we can pass it into our move command. All right, so now we have that web app. Now, what we can do is we can move it into our new resource group. Move Azure RM resource, give it a destination group. And then we can give it the resource ID This command will take a few minutes, but let's go ahead and run it. It's going to confirm that we want to move this specific subscription ID that belongs to our web app. We're going to agree. All right, so that'll take a little bit of time, but if we go back to Azure here and we click on our resource groups, We'll now see that we have resource group A. It says that we're moving the resource. Then if we go back to resource group B, it also says we're moving the resource. So it's doing something at least. Let's go back to our terminal. So you can see that it's still running down here. When it's done running, it'll show the C prompt again. So when you move a resource to a new resource group, like a VM, you need to make sure you include all the resources that come along with it. Otherwise, it won't move. You have to move them all at the exact same time. Um, for web apps, you just need to move the web app. I'm not sure why the insights 
stuff won't move with it and there we go we see that it just finished so now if we go back to Azure portal we can click on resource group A again see it still has the insight stuff there which is fine we go to group B we see that our web app is now in resource group B so there you go. Thanks for watching.